I'd like to show you my bathroom. What it lacks in natural light, ventilation and basic hygiene, it makes up for the great water pressure, great detailing and eccentric odours. This bathroom is proved perfectly acceptable except for one part, this wall above the toilet. Since we've moved in here, I've been plagued by this empty abyss every time I heed the call of nature. We have numerous artworks varying in style and influences around the flat, including the bathroom, but nothing here. It has to be subdued, and I'm going to make an artwork that does just that. It's easy to make something that I relate to or enjoy, like a flame throwing hummingbird, or a, a deer with sausage antlers, or maybe a, a misunderstood vampire horse, but I'm not the only tenant. I have a flatmate who also have to look at it, so it should probably be something that relates to both of us. So I thought, well, I enjoy cowboys and westerns, well, Daniel once had a traumatic encounter with a goose, so why not combine those two things? For this to be worth it, you'll have to meet some requirements. It's going to have to go quickly, that means a very limited palette, spray painting where possible, um, it has to be affordable, cheap enough for anyone to make, and it has to blend in with the rest of the bathroom, so it'll have to be subtle and not make too much of a statement. Now for the canvas, I wanted something that was large and firm while still light enough to move around easily. I decide on oriented strand board, which you can get from most honorable wood suppliers. It's cheap and comes in various sizes and options and thickness. I use the jigsaw to cover the arch from the OSB. Next you spray paint the crisp new arch with a white base to make the following color layers stand out more. Then we need to get the design onto the board. To save time I use the projector to trace the outlines onto the white base. It was now time for the coloring. To save time on the big blue sky surface, I used spray paint. Most colors are great out of the bottle, but some colors did need mixing. Here's a montage of me coloring in the illustration with acrylic paints. And there you go, this barren and empty wall has been occupied by what some would label a timeless and reliable work of art. Now it's time to hear what the other tenant says.